In this screencast, we will have a look at the Kubernetes support in IntelliJ IDEA and the other IDs from JetBrains. In addition to syntax highlighting for the configuration files, with Kubernetes support, we get code completion, inspections, and navigation. We can use the gutter icons for navigation between the definition and usages of the labels. And we can rename the labels safely by using Shift F6 shortcut. It is also possible to navigate by pressing Command B or Control B. It is possible to define multiple resources within the same file. Let's try adding a new resource. By pressing Command J or Control J shortcut, we get a list of live templates that are available in this context. There are a few predefined templates for config map, deployment, service, and pod configurations. Just as an example, let's use the generic resource template to create the deployment configuration. As you can see, code completion works not only for the configuration parameters, but also for the values. It is known in advance that some of the configuration parameters require multiple arguments, so the completion automatically creates the nested elements and guides you in the authoring process. The quick documentation pop-up is useful for checking the information about the specific elements. In this example, for the image pool policy parameter, we can see that this parameter is an enumeration, hence all the possible values are known up front. So we can use basic completion by pressing control space and select the desired value from the list. The file structure pop-up is handy for getting an overview and for navigation to the individual elements in the file. We can also have the same information always visible in the structure view on the side. The IDE also provides various inspections and quick fixes. For instance, we can see that there are some duplicate parameters in the file. We can navigate over the errors by pressing F2 key after we navigate it to an error, a pop-up will hint us what can we do next to fix the problem. The IDE can also detect a missing configuration parameter. In this example, the verbs parameter is missing. And we can quickly check the documentation for this parameter to find out what kind of value is expected. As you can see, we have some problems with the current file. The file requires the external resources and the IDE doesn't know about those resources yet. We can add the custom resource definitions in the settings dialog under the languages and frameworks section at the Kubernetes tab. The file is now properly recognized with no issues and we can browse the documentation for the individual elements. Helm charts are also supported. Let's start by creating a new Helm chart and call it Application. We can now use the Lint tool to validate the chart. The results are printed to the console and we can navigate to the issue by clicking on the Lint. In this case, the icon attribute is missing, so we can add it. Other inspections are provided as well. For instance, the plugin would check the semantic version format in this file. We can also rename the chart safely, so not only the name parameter value will be changed, but also the directory that contains the chart definition will be renamed accordingly. To preview how the individual templates will be rendered at the server, use the Helm template feature. The two-sided view displays how the placeholders in the template are replaced with the actual values. And within the template, we can navigate via the placeholders to the definition in the values file. The code folding feature is enabled by default, and it renders the real values over the placeholders in the editor. We can unfold the rendered values to see the actual placeholder by clicking on the value or by using a shortcut. It's also possible to find all the usages of the individual parameters from the values file by using out of 7 shortcut.
the requirements.yaml file is used to describe the dependencies for the Helm chart. Right click on the file, select Kubernetes Helm dependencies update, and dependencies will be downloaded into the chart subdirectory. We can even browse the internal files for those charts. Sometimes we need to override the parameters in the dependencies that is the camel file. The basic completion helps us to discover the correct parameter to override, and the icons in the gutter allow us to navigate to the overridden value and back. Support for customize is also included. The ID offers completion for the keys and paths, and we can rename and navigate to the linked resources. In addition, find usages action works for those files as well. I hope you enjoyed the screencast. Thank you for watching.